Earlier this week, we told you about some new guidelines from the CDC when it comes to summer camps. Doctors now say overnight camps should ask everyone, including campers, to be fully vaccinated if they're eligible or to quarantine for two weeks before camp and show proof of a negative test. And with summer right around the corner now, some parents are eager to get their kids enrolled. Absolutely. Uh, Emma Lockhart joining us live from Chandler tonight with more on the options available to families. Emma? Last summer, Arizona was experiencing a devastating surge in COVID cases, so a lot of parents were choosing to keep their kids at home where it was safest. Now with more people getting vaccinated, a lot of parents are eager to get their kids back to some sense of normalcy this summer. Aspire Kids Sports Center in Chandler is lively once again. There's a lot more families coming out. As summer approaches, interest in summer camp is heating up too. This year we are anticipating a lot more growth, a lot more kids here. Peter Hemingway, the business manager, says summer camp spots are filling up. It's a welcome change following last summer when Arizona was a COVID hotspot. With the surges last summer, our camps really went down as far as the amount of kids. For some kids cooped up at home or glued to a computer screen this past year, summer camp is a chance to get active and social again. We didn't go anywhere last summer. We were really careful. Hemingway says they are sanitizing daily and encouraging everyone to wear masks and social distance. We do feel really safe bringing our kids here. Meanwhile, the CDC just released updated guidelines for summer camps. It is advising mandatory masks for everyone. Staff and counselors get vaccinated, limited indoor activities, and staying in small groups. Luckily, our program is not only inside but outside as well, so they're able to have both those things there. For some families, vaccines are giving them peace of mind. I've been vaccinated as is my husband, and so I feel like at this point we're a little more protected that way. And the city of Mesa is offering summer camp uh, starting May 24th with safety measures in place like social distancing and mandatory masks. The city of Phoenix says it's still finalizing its summer camp programs. In the meantime, it's offering free virtual uh, fitness and recreational videos. Heather? Well, Emma, we do know at this point kids 16 and under, they're not eligible yet for the vaccine. Uh, so are the camps you spoke with worried about COVID transmission at all? And how are they gearing up for that? Well, the owner here at Aspire Kids Sports Center uh, says if someone does get sick, they are asked to isolate for two weeks before coming back. And the CDC says overnight camps should have an isolation room and transportation if a counselor or a camper needs to leave. All right, Emma Lockhart reporting live from Chandler tonight. Thank you, Emma.